I'm going to let you in on a secret. In 2019, without any fanfare or global press releases, Honda brought back the XR250R. Yes, you heard me correctly, the XR250R. Except, the name is a bit misleading. They decided to call it the CRF250F. You may be old enough to vividly remember the prolific XR series from Honda. It was first released in 1979 and was in production until 2004, virtually unchanged over that time period. These motorcycles became iconic off-road bikes, not necessarily because of thoroughbred performance, but because of the dramatic influence these bikes had over generations of motorcyclists. Many of us, whether we ride street or dirt, cut our teeth on one of these machines early in our riding careers. Damn poor baby, nearly kill me! These bikes were known for a ridiculously good reliability and a forgiving nature. Now, in 2019, Honda has released the new and improved XR250R, and as I mentioned, they now call it the Honda CRF250F. Over the past 18 months, various members of our gang were casually grabbing 250Fs to run errands, simply because there was often a spare 250F sitting at the shop. Surprisingly, more and more conversations were occurring around the 250F. We caught Barry Morris endlessly practicing his slow wheelies on the 250F, Chuck Harder was taking the bike on short rides in the bush, and Meg Sprack was all smiles when she was racing the 250F on her legendary Megatron track. So, what happened? How did the 250F go from homely wallflower to e-rag prom queen? especially among a group of experienced enduro riders. Numero one, it's fun. We all know when riding a modern enduro bike, you're required to pay attention all the time. Oh, she's gone. They quickly and violently get out of control. The CRF 250F never feels like it's trying to kill you. Reason number two, reliable. A push of the button and it starts. Every single time. Number three. We affectionately describe the 250F as a Labrador Retriever. It's friendly, it doesn't bite, and there's a place in almost every home for one. Many types of people can love this bike. Numero four. If the XR250R of old was a fat, slow lab, the new 250F is a sleek and more athletic version. Sure, it's still a Labrador Retriever, but the performance is greatly improved. Senko, five, it requires little attention. In our world of high strung enduro bikes with complicated and demanding service intervals, it is so refreshing to have an air-cooled fuel-injected motorcycle. Put gas in it, we check the oil, and we ride. Comparatively, there is no maintenance. With fuel injection, disc brakes, and a bulletproof electric start, it's easy to love this motorcycle. With three simple upgrades, Honda has improved what we feel is as good or better than the legendary XR250R. Can we recommend the CRF250F? Absolutely, and without hesitation. As we know, time reveals all, but we feel that history will be kind to this motorcycle. Undoubtedly, a new generation of riders will wistfully look back someday and wonder, why don't they make bikes like this anymore? That's because everything's electric now, you dum-dum. Have you had any experience with the CRF250F? Do you think it's the cat's ass? Are we prematurely suggesting it will one day hold the reputation of the Mighty XR series? Let us know in the comments below, you bunch of reprobates.